I was so excited. And everybody in the world, Breath of the Wild is the best Switch game, best Nintendo game ever created. No, it's not. <laughs> not apologetic. Nonsense. I wrote down a few notes. I was writing them down angrily as I was playing through this game. <laughs> First off, the story. Story's good. You know, it's a basic story, but it works. You know, you can't really uh, uh, knock them down for the writing, you know. But we got into a lot of lazy Nintendo stuff. Like, it's an open world game, but the world is bare. You know, like, yeah. you get your missions from, like, the stables or the four towns that are in this place. <laughs> but everything else running from point A to point B, you might have a couple skeletons or them big blobby blobs pop up. But really, it's just a bare world. There's nothing to really find, you know. The whole concept, first off, I was fucking cussing you <laughs> when every weapon broke. It's like, really, yeah, are we doing not, this for an entire game? Something I was fond of in the game. But... Yeah, are we playing boss fights where I got to go through six weapons, <laughs> yeah. you know? But they took away your whole initiative to fight. Because all you're going to do is break weapons, break shields, and you're not going to get anything returned. No upgrade materials, no anything. I mean, I enjoyed the game. I've always been a fan of the Zelda series. Am I going to say it's the greatest Switch game? No, not at all. Do you think that people loving this game as much as they, they do, I mean, it's got to be a nostalgia factor. Uh, yeah. Right? You played I mean, Zelda for when me, you were it's a, a kid. Nostalgia, yeah. Because for me, I never played a Zelda game. This was the really? first Zelda game, and, and damn sure might be the last. <laughs> you know, now, now there's better ones out there, way better. Oh, there are better actual Zelda. Well, yeah. you said that shit about Breath of the Wild. That's it. Breath of the Wild is like the first one I think they brought in where your weapons break and really all that. Yeah. See, there were areas I really liked. Like, there's an area. It's like the mines or something. And like when you're there, if you don't have the mine armor on, your character is set on fire. Oh yeah. Yeah. So like I'm, I just see it on my map, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go there, and then all of a sudden I'm set on fire. So I'm like purging health items, running <laughs> into that area, and then eventually I find the shop, and luckily I had enough um, to to yeah to purchase it, souls, whatever. And I thought that was real good, and the stealth area in that in that area where you have to infiltrate the yoga clan. Oh yeah, that just didn't work. Like, a lot of stuff in this game just didn't work. The dodge, for example, like, I I would press it, and, and the character would just stand there. And it wasn't, <laughs> like, a timing issue. Like, I pressed it too late and still got hit. Like, it was not registering as a button press. So I tried a different controller thinking, well, maybe it's this, this controller. And it, it wasn't. <laughs> so it just seemed like shoddy programming. You know, and uh, let's see, side missions I found boring. I didn't do very many of them. There wasn't much to them. No, you know, I did really. explore and found his little sword that didn't break, but it, shuts down after yeah, five yeah, minutes of use, yeah. so it might as well have <laughs> broken. Now, I did find some cool stuff that was just a breath of fresh air for me. Did you go on, uh, I don't know the name of it, but I would call it Survival Island? I'm not sure. It's been a while since I played the game. Whenever you got to, like, float or glide down there, and it's like a big glide, like I had to eat stuff to get more stamina to make it over. When you do, the game strips you of your weapons, your health items, your armor, everything. It's like until you solve these three puzzles on this island, you're, you're done. So it starts you with nothing. You just pick up a twig, and that's your weapon, and then you try to build while you're there. I, don't I, think I, I thought that. that was super. That was one of those things where I'm just like on a cliffside and just bored to all hell. And I'm like, <laughs> well, what's that over there? <laughs> now, I thought the labyrinths were a good way to sort of break up. You know, all the corners had the labyrinths you had to explore to be able to get to the shrine. Yeah. The shrines, too. I don't understand how this is an all ages game. I had a hell of a time with a lot of those shrines. You know, it's like you got to use this ability, and then you didn't know that ability B did this certain thing. Yep. It's like, how are children making it through this? <laughs> the final boss, um, Cannon, Ganon, Schlammon, whatever. Ganon. That, to me, was the first, like, real boss in the game. Like, it was a real boss fight. Yeah. You know, and... Had I, a second phase. And... Yeah, and I, I got through him first try, but I think the only reason I did was because I mastered that parry. And I just ignored all of his attacks until I could create distance, bait him into doing the meow, meow, the laser, and then I, 
run up and whack them a couple times, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I don't quite get the love for this fucking game, man. But if you remember, me and you had a little bit of a conversation when I was about, you know, 20 minutes into it, you know? You know, I called you up and I was like, are you fucking serious? Yeah. <laughs> like, is this going to get better? Because if it wasn't for my hand being down, I never would have played that game. You know, now it's it's a cool game, I, I guess. You know, like it's a game I would like uh, if a child is in that in-between level where they don't want to play, I don't know, Harry Potter and the <laughs> Bear Ball Sack and they can't quite play, you know, a real game. I would probably sit them on that or maybe an Assassin's Creed or something. That's kind of what it reminded me of, like a cross between Skyrim and Assassin's Creed, but made for children or fucking retards. <laughs> I mean, like, what What are your... Am I off base here? Am I the one who's wrong? Or is it uh, the world? Hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Uh, like I said, I, I enjoyed it. I said it wasn't the best of the... Zelda series, but like you said before, it's more of a nostalgia thing. I do enjoy the story. So you've been playing Zelda since you were a kid. Yeah. Then. See, I think I may have owned it on NES, but like I think I started. I mean, this I was probably like five That's one or of something. The you know, best ones is the one on Super Nintendo. Like, I, I just couldn't envision that to be true. That's got to be a nostalgia glasses thing. Because how can you say an NES title is the best of anything when they've consistently put out Zelda titles right yeah. from then till now? I mean, that's yeah. got to be like a little crappy game. I, I don't think so. I, I could go back and play that many times. I'm sure that, like, if I saw everything Breath of the Wild had to offer, it would have took me weeks or months to um, get through it all, especially because it's fucking broken. And that's another thing. Making, <laughs> making the food, like, at the fire with the bowl and everything, it's like a cute little, an- dun, 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 you know, cute little animation the first time. But fuck, when you got to sit there and make 20 things and go through that one at a time, holy fuck, I know, but it still (laughs) takes about the same amount of time because it fades to black and then, and then sort of reloads. But yeah, overall, I was severely disappointed. And before I say, what is your out of 10? Out of 10. Out of 10. What do you rate the game? Um, Six or seven. Six or seven out of ten, I'm giving this game a (laughs) 2.5. And I'm going to go as far as to say, if you love it, you're either fucking retarded or there is no second option. (laughs) Have yourself a good night, you Mm. fucking idiot. Non-apologetic. Nonsense. 